What's up friends and welcome to Freelancing with Chris of Emery. I'm Chris of Emery and today I am going to try spray paint for the first time. But first I just want to remind you to go check out Robin12.com and sign up if you're interested in getting the latest news on the animated show I'm working on. And if you want to support me and this channel you can always join the channel or become a subscriber on Twitch along with a bunch of other ways described in the info to this video. Enough of all that, let's go! I have for as long as I remember wanted to try painting with spray cans. I mean I have been drawing on and off for almost my entire life so how come I've never really gone hard with graffiti? Well I think there are two reasons for that, one being practical in that it's always scary trying new things instead of staying with the comfortable pencils I'm used to, reason two being not really knowing someone doing graffiti or anything and me not wanting to go to any of the legal walls and embarrass myself in front of people who really know what they're doing. Pretty recently we bought a new house with a garage that I've decided to make some sort of home gym in. It why not have my first attempt at creating something with spray paint on a wall in that gym. Fast forward and the garage is now in place and here's the room and the wall I'm going to paint on. I'm not gonna pretend I know what I'm jumping into here but I'm thinking an angry bear because bears are cool. Some sort of face popping out here, um, bombs up here surrounded by flowers or something. And then something to glue it all together, I'm thinking just a mayhem of color type thing. Yep, I think we're ready. So I'm beginning with just seeing how the cans work by drawing random lines. It's definitely a strange feeling drawing with the entire arm as opposed to using wrist and fingers like I'm used to. I also realize how speed and distance to the wall heavily affects the outcome. The color gets more transparent with speed and if I go too slow immediately it starts dripping. In other words, there's a lot to consider here and I'm just happy you can always paint over with layers because there will be a lot of mistakes under here. Trying to achieve some clean art piece here is simply impossible given the level I'm at with these cans. I'm going to follow the sketch roughly but instead of a clean setup I'm going to go for a more safe route with a rough style and a wall that seems to have been painted on over and over again through the years. A color explosion in the background and then the three motives popping out of that. Soon I have enough confidence to do the face and also starting to shift focus on the scariest part of the wall, the bear. Doing color and some sort of shade layer first and then adding line art detail with these Posca pens. Little by little I get increasingly confident in how to handle the cans. And somehow I find enough courage to start experimenting with some dark in the background of the bear. And I'm happy I did because it made the bear pop out of the art much more. And that's basically it. I am done. So here's the final result. And I mean, I must say I am pretty happy with how it turned out. But most importantly, drawing with the cast on this big format, while it sure was hard as f actually was extremely fun. Again, I'm happy that I decided to go for this more rough looking street art piece rather than some clean artwork. But yeah, this is definitely the first but not the last time I'm doing this. I think I'm going to get me some big canvases or something to continue painting on because this was extremely fun. Looking back at the sketch versus the final results, I sort of followed through on the initial idea. Even though it color wise didn't really turn out how I imagined it in my head. Anyways, that's my first jump into the spray paint world. Have you tried it before and what do you think of spray paint as an art medium? Maybe you have some tips for me before I go deeper into the graffiti rabbit hole. Thank you for watching and make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want more from me. A special thank you to the Twitch subscribers, YouTube members and donors listed in the upcoming screen. Stay creative and see you next time.